Welcome to Echo Catcher Tarot. Hello Cancer. Hello Cross Watchers. This is going to be a reading for February 22nd to February 29th, 2020. February. Please like and subscribe. That helps me out a lot. Thank you to all the viewers. Thank you to all the new subscribers and all the current subscribers. I really appreciate it. Please remember there's no way this can connect with every single Cancer out there. So if it doesn't connect with you, hopefully you know your Moon sign or your Venus sign and you can watch those videos. And also the Masculine and Feminine Energies can be vice versa on the cards as well. And if I'm talking about a card and applying it to you and you feel like it's more suited to somebody else around you, feel free to vice versa as well. So I have a new deck of cards I'm going to introduce into this reading. I know I always say I love all my cards, but I really do, and these new ones are just beautiful. I have a list of ones I want to get, and this was on my list, and so I just love them. They're the Whispers of the Ocean Oracle Cards by Angela Hartfield. They're just beautiful. All right, so the, I'm going to pull three of these for you, and then we'll start the reading with the Mystical Cats Tarot and the Chakra Wisdom cards. So the first uh, Whispers of the Ocean Oracle card for you, Cancer, is 15, Adrift in Shallow Water. Take a few breaths and reconnect to your inner peace. Notice the small things and appreciate them. So I'm going to look this up real fast. Sorry, so 15, let me find it. And I'm probably just going to read about the turtle because the card pretty much says what it's about and then they talk about the animal on the card. So this says, you are engaged in a period of soul searching. You may feel you want to seek the truth all, at all costs. You may desire a new direction and as a result have recently begun a journey of self-discovery and contemplation. This pursuit is mainly a solitary quest because the answers do not lie in the external world but within you. Green sea turtles are often found swimming alone in shallow waters. A turtle may travel long distances across oceans to return to its origin beach where it will breed. Turtles use their long flippers to move gracefully in the water and can appear to be drifting. Unseen exertion and plans can make achievement look effortless, especially when they make the most of the currents and energies available. Move slowly and find joy in the beauty of your day-to-day -day life. If you have been rushing around, consider this an opportunity. You can be more productive and less stressed simply by slowing down your pace. So that was your first one, if 15 means anything to you. Adrift in shallow water. So the next one that comes up for you in the Whispers of the Ocean Oracle deck is 23, Distinctive Potential. Rely on your faith and the knowledge that nothing is impossible. Use your determination to hang in there until you re realize a goal. So let me see what this one says. Give me a minute here. Good thing I have two hands, all I can say. <laughs> so this says... Reflect on your personal values, goals, and methods and what you believe will bring fulfillment and happiness to your life. This card foresees a time when you are very clear or where your individual beliefs and principles lie and you have successfully created a life that is aligned to those standards. Narwhal whales are unique mammals found in the Arctic. They possess two teeth. The left tooth grows into a spiral horn protruding from the narwhal's mouth. The resulting horn is 7 to 10 feet long. When first sighted in the early 1200s, narwhals were believed to be substantiate were believed to substantiate the fabled unicorn. When a narwhal's tusk was found washed ashore, they were believed to have magical powers or messages. The fact that something so unusual as the narwhal exists can help you have faith that anything is possible. Very nice, narwhal. So now we'll pull one more of the Angel Whispers of the Ocean Oracle card for you. And we have 30, Surrounded by Prosperity. Your attention is being drawn to the infinite nature of reality. 
That which exists outside the known is beyond measure. That's beautiful. So let me see what this says. i got to find the book or the page in the book. Okay, here we see. Here we go. The school of fish pictured represents abundance, sanctuary, desire, control, steadiness, and even a possible windfall. You may find you want to take care of others by offering advice, guidance, and wisdom, as well as loaning your money or giving your time to a worthwhile cause now. You might be drawn to the vibrant yellow of the tang. This is an opportunity to tune into your solar plexus and your personal power. Are you giving up or alter alternatively too keyed up about a situation? This is the time to bring yourself back to feeling empowered and in control of your emotions. The yellow tang, a serene ocean dweller, is an essential part of the reef ecosystem. Large schools of yellow tangs can be found on the ocean's reef. The yellow tang is attracted to areas of coral where they clear away excess algae. They help maintain balance in the ecosystem. Algae can turn up in all sorts of places and you may even see yellow tangs cleaning it off a turtle. Abundance can show up in a variety of ways. Trust that you are abundant, clear away anything that may hinder your bounty. So you know what was really noticeable in this? Sometimes the tangs have been known to clean algae off turtles and your first card was a turtle. So I feel like abundance is coming to a lot of you, and maybe it's like good karma. That's very beautiful. Okay, so now we're going to start with the Mystical Cats Tarot deck for you, Cancer. So the first one is Grace. This is balance. Taking the high road. Your, your emotions are in check, so just balance yourself and just kind of go at an even pace for what's coming your way. Because good things are coming, but you're not there yet. Then you have Nine of C. Nine of C is a couple things. This could be you dreaming about things you want in your life. It could be things you may have had before that you want to have in your future again. So it could be daydreaming and sleep dreaming. Six of Fire. Six of Fire is a couple things. This could be somebody who's teaching a job skill to other people and they have a manager or lead position and people bring them things and give them things or your supervisor role at your job and people like you and they respect you. That's what I feel this is. So the wheel, very nice cancer. The wheel is a cycle changing. You're moving into a new cycle, a new how do I put it? A new cycle of your life. It's changing. Like something is changing dramatically that it's going to change your life for the rest of your life. And I don't want, it's not nothing that's going to jar you and make you broken or anything. It's good. But you're moving into a new cycle. The sun card. Beautiful. I believe that's your card, isn't it? Is Cancer the sun? No, Cancer is the chariot. So to me, this is Leo. <laughs> so maybe you have a Leo around you, Cancer. So seven of C is denial. This is something right in front of your face that you're denying, Cancer. What is it? What are you denying? Two of Sky. This means that there's something in the past that has come forward into your life now again or for the first time and you're trying to make a decision about it you don't know which way to go ace of c and it concerns love and i think you're going to choose love <laughs> if that helps at all so i'm not sure what that means and this is earth king this is my heaven card. This could be somebody in heaven saying hello to you and they acknowledge you that maybe you've been thinking about them and they want you to know they know this and they're thinking of you as well. Six of Earth is you being generous to people. You're a very generous Cancer or somebody's generous to you. But I feel like it's you. You could be sharing your home. You're sharing your things with other people. 
So this is the death card. This is something ending so something new can come in. And one door closes so another door with greater abundance for you is going to open. The world. Beautiful. So you have the wheel. I mean, this is just really powerful right here. So the Earth King and the Death are pretty powerful, but these really are as well. These right here could be your whole reading if you ask me. So this is a sun. This is abundance and love, Cancer. This is the wheel, something positive changing into a new cycle. So you've you've created, you've learned your lessons or whatever you're supposed to learn and done your karma in one cycle. And this is the world, your world changing, moving into a new world. It's going to change. It's going to be different. I don't even know how to explain it. And this is Ace of Sea, love, strong love. Very good for you, Cancers. So I think I'll stop there because that was a good card. And I'll switch over to the Chakra Wisdom deck now. And you have Ace of Swords. So Ace of Swords is Identity Chakra. I feel like there's somebody spying on you. And you want to be done with it. There's something you want to end to be done with in your life. The Fool. This is my precursor to True Love coming into you. So if you're already in love, this could be just your love getting stronger, something happening to where you're like, oh my gosh, I just love this person even more than I already did. So something like that. And you're going to bond. Let's. Put, I'm getting that you're going to bond over something. Something's coming that's going to help you to bond, your identity. You're going to bond through your identity and you're cutting something out. That's amazing. So this is the devil card. This could be a Capricorn. You could have Capricorn in your moon or your Venus or Capricorn around you. Or this could represent lower energies or vibrations around you that could be jealous. So five of swords. This again is another jealous. So if you don't have a Capricorn around you, that's not good. So this is jealousy. You see, whoa. You see he is looking right here. I never noticed a couple weeks ago there's a person right here too and he seems to be glaring at both of them so that makes me think he's tricking this one in the middle he could be tricking them both because she's not looking at him either but that's somebody who could be tricking somebody knight of cups this is somebody coming in with a couple things this could be offering love this is throat chakra or they could be offering an apology temperance temperance to me is the same as grace basically so you had it twice wait you just have to wait the good stuff is coming to you but you have to have patience because it's on the time of the divine when they feel you're ready is when they hand it over to you so four swords is you needing to take a step back and rest something around your love is making you rethink something over and over and you're falling into kind of a despair a little bit about it that's what I'm feeling so the tower. So something needs to happen so something can rebuild itself. And this is fast action communication. So I don't know if something's going to be said and everything's going to fall down and you're going to have to rebuild it again. But that happens to a lot of people in their lives. It happens over and over till we get it right. Seven of Cups. So you have a disillusionment about something. Something is hurting your your I don't know what I'm trying to say. It's hurting yourself. Something you're thinking about as you've done or something, you're blowing it up and making it a hundred times worse because you're going inside your head and making it worse than what it actually is, is what I feel. You have a disillusionment, let's put it that way. So strength, beautiful Leo. This is the Leo. This is beautiful. Strength, you have the strength. Cancer. So stars, you have the stars. Didn't you have the stars twice? I thought you did. I guess you didn't. What? I thought you did. Hmm. Okay, well the stars is Major Arcana. This is Wish Fulfillment, Dreams. This could represent an Aquarius around you, Cancer, if you have an Aquarius in your life. Then you have Princess of Wands. Princess of Wands is somebody who is 
I feel like she's getting an opportunity. This is somebody who is protected, who is probably younger, maybe a little more naive, and she's very protected by the divine. But the opportunity for her may be coming, I feel. Some sort of opportunity. King of Swords. This is somebody who's going to cut something out. He doesn't, he's very analytical, very, what's the word, rigid. And so, yeah, you're going to cut something out. And that's weird because you have the Ace of Swords and the King of Swords. This is your identity and this is intuition. So there's something that is really made you not happy that you want to cut out of your life is what I feel. So then you have Nine of Swords. This is regret and grief. There's something in your life you miss or something you feel bad about. Nine of Cups. This is you feeling luxurious. Like, I don't know if you need to do something to make yourself feel better about yourself. Cancer, like, go get a haircut, go get your nails done. Or if it's saying that you love yourself abundantly, that you, you consider yourself very beautiful, which is good. Very, um... You think you're, it's easy to make you feel like you're luxurious, basically, is what I'm getting. So, Six of Swords. This is you removing yourself from a situation or a person. They're not good for you anymore, and you kind of realize that, and you're moving away from that. And this is your intuition. So, you're feeling this in your inner voice or your core, and so you're going to listen to it, I feel. Princess of Coins is somebody who is very practical with her coins. Very practical. Very honest. She can save. The Moon. The Moon is... Could be a Pisces if you have a Pisces around you, Cancer. But this is secrets getting balanced or somebody's dark side. I always tell you this is yin and yang to me with the light above their heads. To me, that's yin and yang. So some secret is going to come out. And I feel like there's going to be balance from that secret. And this is King of Wands. So he is very analytical. This is your crown chakra. So he is paying attention to everything. He is not really saying much, but he's watching. And he has a lot to say. He likes things done his way. So Ace of Coins, very good. This is success and victory. Very nice. So I think I'm going to pull the Fantasy Cats Oracle and then the Soul's Journey lesson cards now. Let me see what time it is. So the first Fantasy Cats Oracle card that comes up for you, Cancer, is Grooming, number eight. And grooming means just take care of yourself. Do what you can to make yourself feel whole and happy and I feel like you're good at that. So then the next card we have for you, the Fantasy Cats Oracle, is feeling number two, grooming and feeling. So this tells me you're feeling a lot right now, a lot. And because it looks like roots almost, I almost feel like it's family. There's a lot of feelings. A lot of stuff going on. So let me see what that says for feelings. I haven't read it for a while, but open yourself to every feeling associated with your situation. Embrace the entire emotional spectrum, the light, the dark, and every shade in between. Allow an open flow and know you are protected. Emotions can't hurt you, even the scariest and saddest. The darkness defines the light. Darkness encourages the light shine brighter. Embrace dark and light with equal openness. Openness, sorry. And then, yeah, grooming was just take care of yourself. So now let me go with the Soul's Journey lesson cards for you. I'll pull two of those. So the first one we have for you is friendship. I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. Very nice. 
And that's good, because yes, friends are in your life for a reason. That's true. They teach us things. So the second Soul's Journey lesson card for you, Cancer, is freedom. I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. That is very beautiful. Purple is healing. Beautiful. Friendship and freedom. Well, I feel like a lot of doors are going to open for you. I really do, Cancer. You're going to be shocked, I think. In like six months from now or even a year from now where your life is going to be from now. So let me see, friendship was first and they're right next, no they're not right next to each other. Are they? I'm sorry, I can't get that page. Friendship, friendship. Oh, maybe it is. Oh, they are right next to each other in the book. All humans are created from the same source, but there are some souls that share a unique kinship. Friendship can be the most exciting and beautiful experience on earth, but it can also be frustrating and heartbreaking. Understand that everyone in your path is here to teach you something. It may be for a year or a lifetime. Together you will teach each other various lessons of the heart, such as trust, love, loyalty, and admiration. The bonds of friendship are often stronger than those of family. You have formed a bridge of understanding between the two of you that has stood the test of time and of lifetimes. A true friend will illuminate your path instead of dim it. He or she will give advice with your best interests at heart. To be able to communicate at a soul level with another human being is the biggest treasure of the physical dimension. That's nice. So now I'm going to read Freedom. Your soul is open to receiving new wisdom and insights that will allow it to make the right choices for its own growth. Remember, you are never a victim of other people or their circumstances. You have complete control over your own choices. By following your heart and being authentic to yourself, you present the real you to the world. When a soul shifts to a place of honoring itself in its totality, free from judgment, only then will it find its true freedom. Every soul is unique and follows its own path. Don't give in to peer pressure or the urge to fit in. You are the only one who truly knows the real you. So feel free to march to the beat of your own drum. Very nice. So I hope that helps you, Cancer Crosswatchers. Thank you so much for coming to Echo Catcher Tarot.